Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the AWS project wherein we are creating an Amazon VPC for use with the DB instance wherein the DB, DB instance would contact the web server which web server would be exposed to public internet but our DB server would be in a private subnet which would only talk to my web server. So in this step, step 2, we will create additional subnets in the VPC. So let me just quickly log on to the AWS console and take it from there. I'm logged on to my console. This is my uh, VPC that we created in the previous video. And now if you would go to subnets under the VPC dashboard. It will launch, you will get to that screen. Okay, so this is the one that we created in the previous video tutorial public, tutorial private one. I will click on create subnet and I would give a name to it. I would give a name as I'm sorry. Tutorial private 2 and I will choose the VPC that I created availability zone I'm going to go with US West 2P and my VPC IPv4 CIDR block for this subnet would be 10.0.2.0 slash 24 click on create Now I have three subnets. I have uh, two private subnets and I have one public subnet. So to ensure that the second private subnet that we created uses the same route table as the first private subnet, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to click on subnets and choose the first private subnet here. Tutorial private one and you see the route table here. You see the route table here and uh, and you see this route table RTB. This is the ID of uh, your uh, route table and then in the list of subnets, click on here. Right now you select one and click on two. You would see uh, see the route table tab. And uh, please note that if the current route table is not the same as the route table for the first private subnet, then you would you can do that. So if I see the route table one, and select two, and I note the route table ID of this. Copy it. Here now unselect it. Click on two. You copy this again. Right? And you match it. So it is same. If it wouldn't have been same. I would have done edit route table association and I would have selected the correct route table ID from here. So that both the private subnets 1 and private subnet 2 follow the same route and are associated with the same route table. Okay, I click on cancel because it is same. So I hope you liked this video and if you have any further doubts, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.